Food Creates Smile by Saya Honda and Sumi Uitake Turner. There are three main elements in our lives. One is to have places to live. Second is to have clothes to wear. And last is to have foods to eat. We focused on foods. There are three good things of foods and eating. One is that food makes people feel satisfied. Second, consuming well-balanced nutrition leads to great health. And last, by going to restaurants, we can help their financial problems, especially in this COVID-19. These will bring many smiles to many people. Now, let's get started. First, we went to a cafe near Nerima Station, a local place for our school. The cafe was a very calm, warm place we can relax and have the lunch. We were able to have a very nutritious plate with many colorful delis. to have a contented feeling after eating this. Next, we went to a udon noodle restaurant in Shakuji Koen. Again, a local station. Katejiru is the soup we put in the noodles, which includes pork, fried tofu, burdock, and Japanese leek. Japanese mustard spinach and the leeks were, are made locally. Udo noodles uses local flour and partially all wheat. The colored ones are purple sweet potato, local white radish leaf, and a chili. It includes more than 120 grams of well-balanced vegetables with 812 kilocalories. They were very savory and we were able to have some smiles on our face. Last, we visited a pastry shop in Oizumi Gakuen, the nearest station from our school. This store is specified as Tokyo Locavore Store and is in Nerima Collection. The pastries they sell uses many local ingredients such as sweet potatoes and blueberries. They were again very rich and tasty. These were all the restaurants. We picked up local stores and actually went there to take the videos. So we hope our visit helped them in many ways, including financial approach, which is one of the main three influences we picked up. We also hope that you were able to deepen the understandings and interest towards foods making smiles. It is your turn next to have smile with foods. Thank you for watching. Bye.